Good evening, good evening, people of God. How are you? Happy Monday evening. I hope you guys enjoyed your day. I am exhausted and as tired as I look. I uh, I have been, ever since this morning, after I uploaded that video, I have been sitting in front of a computer in my office all day long. And, um, you know, I don't like being... I don't like when I have to do office work. I don't like paperwork and stuff. I mean, it's okay. It's easy, but I don't know. I don't like being inside. I like being outside when the sun is shining and stuff like that. So I was in the house all day in front of a computer. Thank God, you know, by the grace of God. And it's almost winding down. I still got a lot to do. But I'll try to finish it up tonight. But I decided, let me take a break. So I'm waiting. I'm about to get me a massage and I gotta wait a few minutes before it's my time but I wanted to say this right here people of God I want you to walk into I want you to people of God those of you some of you let me tell you something you feel like you've probably been carrying a burden for a long time or you've probably been walking by faith for a long time you've probably been waiting on God to do something he promised you for a long time or you've probably been waiting to see your situation and circumstance change for a long time and what i want you to do now going into this the first quarter of this year is over right so now we're heading into spring and as i said some time ago the seasons we move and change with the seasons and many of god's people are about to be are about to spring forward forward but it's going to require focus it's going to require <clears throat> walking in expectancy and not repeating some of the same mistakes of being so excited to where you share certain things right some things are just for you to keep quiet between you and god no one can wish evil upon it nobody knows what's going on in your life nobody knows what god is doing for you nobody knows what you're working towards nobody knows what you have received or what you are due to receive it is just between you and God and you are going to see the favor of God manifest in your life like you've never seen it before you're going to see good things happen for you you're going to see good blessings come into your life they're going to pursue you and overtake you you're not going to have to go running and looking for it you're not going to have to be robbing cheating stealing hustling and lying for it you're going to be your natural authentic self putting your own hands to the plow right he that is diligent becomes rich not just rich in material wealth but rich in spirit rich in joy rich in happiness rich in peace rich in prosperity of mind body soul health and strength and also god knows what you need materially right and so finances will be added to that as well but you need to walk in expect expectancy right continue doing what you're doing continue putting your hands to the plow continue putting seeds in the ground we don't put seeds in the ground and reap no harvest we reap what we sow whatsoever a man or woman soweth, that shall he or she also reap what have you been sowing in the midst of your opposition in the midst of your trials and tribulations right have you been continuously walking by faith so operating in love helping your brothers and sisters sowing seeds of love encouragement joy you know whatever you can do supporting you're going to reap everything that's going to come back to you but I want you to walk in expectancy. And in order to do that, it takes focus. So some of you are going to have to come off of social media or some of your social media sites. You're going to have to fast from those things, really, so you can just get your spirit really disciplined and in tune with the spirit of God, right? Some of you are going to have to come off social media for some time just so you can focus on all that God has already done for you and so that you can walk by faith with that vision he's given you not by sight not by what you see faith and patience keep going keep going there have been opposers to the calling there have been enemies trying to fight against and delay um, things that God wants to bring forth in the lives of his children of his people but at the end of the day we have a God who is all powerful there is no one stronger than God there is no one above beneath or within the earth that is stronger than the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that is our God. That is who we serve, right? And so you just should continue walking by faith, 
and not by sight. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of that which is not seen. You must walk by faith, walk in expectancy. Get away from people who are doubtful and very negative. And when you begin to see these things happening for you, you, can, you might feel it before you actually see things. When you begin to feel things shifting, because things is already shifting. This is a new month. This is the month of what? This Today is April 1st, right? Yeah, things have already started shifting. Things have already started shifting. But you need to pay attention. And when you see these things, you get excited, get excited, run around and jump in the house by yourself, hot and shout and holler amongst yourself you know but don't go don't go doing that you know you've been putting your hands to the plow the bed many of you have been making for yourself even though it was hard many of you you just come through pressing through some hard times you've been pressing through some hard days when it feel like you had nobody to pour into you when you had nobody to encourage you and you fought back against the enemy of your mind. You kept fighting through the hard days. And now those hard days are coming to an end. Stay positive and keep moving. God bless you. I love you. I got to get off of here now so that I can prepare for my massage. I'm going to enjoy my relaxation evening. But you guys have a blessed day. If nobody told you that they loved you today. Then you already know your little country bunking sister loves you. Your struggles are coming to an end. God bless you and I love you.